I'm going to make some black and white brownies. This is a fun brownie. We're going to bake them in little ramekins. Uh, this recipe will make five of these ramekins, and I've generous, generously buttered them and then dusted them with cocoa. These are going to be really delicious. It's like a cheesecake inside of a brownie. It's just wonderful. In the top of my double boiler, which is nothing more than a bowl over some simmering, not boiling water, I have nine tablespoons of butter and four ounces of really good dark chocolate. I believe that's like a 60% cocoa. So let's just wait until this melts and then we can proceed with the recipe. There we go, our butter, our chocolate is all nicely melted. We can put that aside to cool and I can just start right in on our recipe. Got a large bowl. I'm gonna put in two eggs. I'm gonna put in a generous three quarters of a cup of flour. By generous, I mean, you know, don't level it off, just eyeball it. Mix that up. Give it a good mix. Put in a quarter teaspoon of salt. and one half cup of flour. Now I'm gonna start adding in my chocolate. It's a little on the warm side, so I'll add it in slowly. bit. I don't want my eggs to scramble. And now I can add the rest of the chocolate in. Okay, these are called black and white brownies, and this is the black part. It's really dark brown, but poetic license. Okay, now I've got to make the white part of the brownie. So I'm gonna put this aside and get my mixer out, and we'll put together the white part of the brownies and then get these brownies in the oven. In my mixer bowl, I'm going to put four ounces of soft cream cheese. It really helps if it's soft. And I'm going to put in there an eighth of a cup of sugar. And we'll just blend that up real quick. And to that, I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then I need to add some egg, but I don't need a whole egg. So I'm going to mix it up and I'm just gonna add like half of this egg mixture. we can have the fun of assembling the brownies. I'm just going to move this mixture into a smaller bowl to make it easier for me to work with. Okay. Here are our little ramekins. Now we want to fill each ramekin approximately 60% full with this mixture, the black the chocolate brownie.
our oven's on at 350, the magic 350 that most baked goods are baked at. My mouth is watering already. I remember making these about a week and a half ago and my granddaughter thought these were just the best. She's away on vacation right now and she called me this morning, asked me what I was doing. And I said, well, we're taping a show and I'm gonna be making brownies. And she said, oh, please tell me you're making the black and white brownies and oh, would you please save some for me? So I'm gonna to have to freeze some for her. Now, okay, we've got these in. Now I'm gonna take a dollop, put it in the center, each one. These go in the oven for about 30, 35 minutes. And now I just take a little flat knife and swirl it around a little bit. Don't swirl it to the edges or go all the way to the bottom because you'll scrape off the butter and the cocoa that you put in there so that your brownies would come out later. So just give them a little swirly. Okay. Off to the oven they go, about 30 to 35 minutes. Here are the black and white brownies out of the oven and they're cooled to room temperature. Took about 30 minutes in the oven. And now, moment of truth. Take a little knife and just go around the edges and loosen them up. Now it looks a little plain that way. Tell anybody I use a can. Maybe a little strawberry, maybe a little dip on top too. And there you go. Black and white brownies. When you, you guests are gonna see a chocolate cake and then they're gonna open it up and they're gonna find cheesecake in the middle. It's really delicious.